Hey everyone, what's up? It's Lauren Carr, which is vegan and where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle and we are gonna get our grub on here at the Black Cat Cafe in Hackney. So hey, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe because you do not want to be missing out on this deliciousness. All right. With dessert first today, we got the cookies and cream milkshake. Oh my gosh, which is incredible! Oh my gosh, I mean, look, you can even see those cookies on top. This is perfect. Alice got the vanilla, I'll taste it for her. She likes it. Wow, those are really good. Anyway, I know I should be able to describe it more, but it's delicious, sweet, good, and perfect for the hot day. And then of course we have a great selection of salads. They do, this is the small bowl. They also do a large bowl here. So if you want something nice and nutritious, boom, there you got it. Oh my God, the chef was too kind and just brought us a sausage roll and a spinach tofu pastry. Oh my gosh. Okay, this alioli sauce is incredible. So nice, creamy. It has like a bit of like a pesto-iness to it. Yum. Oh my god, biting into this. It's like biting into the real thing. The flavors are booming. It's not very attractive watching me shove a big sausage roll in my mouth, but I could assure you, it tastes incredible. Mm -hmm. So I got the top seller, the burger. Mm -hmm. And we're getting large and in charge here with the seitan sandwich. Hello, so I'm here at, as you all know, the Black Cat Cafe, and I'm here with head chef of the co-op, Nacho. So of course, as you all know, we got a few questions for him. So, cause I've visited a lot of vegan restaurants, but I don't think I've visited any that are co-op. So what does that mean necessarily? So basically the co-op means that we are not, uh, there is not a boss and that boss or general manager decides everything. We are four people who run the cafe on a weekly basis and we sit down and have the meetings and that's how the decisions are made. And then, all our workers, once they pass like the probation period of six months, they can apply to be members of the co-op. Yeah, so what does it mean to be a member of the co-op? To be in the inside group? Uh, yeah, basically, you work more, you get less money, <laughs> but you take the, the, most of the decisions. Although we always like to speak with our workers to take all the decisions, yeah. the, last, la, the last word is on us, for example, like. Well, it's probably a nice opportunity to understand like how kind of like kitchens and restaurants are run yeah. to be able to be a part of that and kind of get your hands into the decisions that need to be made. Yeah, I think uh, working at Black Cat is a good opportunity for that because most of the time we hire people, we, they start in a salad section with not too much experience. Yep. So it's a good way of them know, learning the trade, yeah. and getting better, and then hopefully getting, as it happened in the past, people going to work for Mildred's or for Mana or oh, for wow. other places. So, so you kind of like start everyone off? And not everyone, but it has happened in the past that the people yeah. arrive with no experience and they managed to gain that experience here and then move on to another places or open their own places. And I always like to ask a fun little question. Yeah. What on the menu gives you your biggest vegan food orgasm? I don't know. Uh, so our best seller, I think, when we put it in special, is the Caribbean pieces stew. Okay. And it's inspired, I don't know if you are familiar with the area, but this area was like a lot when we first moved here. It's a lot of Caribbean restaurants and Caribbean people. Yeah. So I always was curious, super curious of making something like, obviously it's not 100% authentic, but yep. it's my, my vision of the, what they cook. Yeah. So that's our fishless, we usually do with fishless pieces, yeah. but today it's with tofu. Oh nice. I, I have a question, because we dove into the burger. Yeah. That is great. What's, what's in that? 
Soy sa Satan um Satan and Soya means burger in the house. Wow, because it really has that like meaty feel, meaty hearty feel when you yeah, bite yeah. into it, you know. It's a way a bit seller. I'm always thinking of changing it. I have a few different recipes, but people don't want us to change it. Don't change it, we love it. I think I need to go take a nap because that was a lot of food and a lot of very, very delicious eating. So what I love about here, I love the huge portion sizes, so you get a lot of value for your money because you could always take it. Oh yes in a to-go container, what? And I would highly recommend the burger. That was really delicious, very hearty, and it really had that like thickness of meat, but tasting a lot better than meat does. And then I enjoyed the sub, the seitan sub. I guess he was saying that he makes the seitan and mixes it with tofu, because that makes it like, I think it made it a lot lighter. It didn't bloat me like some seitan things do, and it definitely brought me back to the days when I was eating like a sub sandwich as a child back in the States. So really good. I would say the food here, it is great it's hearty made with a lot of love and it's super super tasty so you just gotta come and check it all out I don't know what I'm doing I'm just on a food high some people get into a food coma and I just I just get energized by delicious treats what can I say so I hope you enjoyed eating with me at the Black Cat Cafe here in Hackney and you better be stopping in because you will not be disappointed. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Veganin. And hey, follow me on Instagram at Just Veganin.